The Challenge Tour is once again back in China and the first stop on its now yearly end of season visit is to picturesque Sanya City for the third staging of the Hainan Open being played at the Sanya Luhu 2 Club. With vital ranking points on offer, it was imperative to get off to a good start and that's exactly what Sean Crocker did. The American sits at 36th in the rankings coming into the week and a good performance in Sanya will see him move closer to the all-important top 15 come the end of the season. One of those looking to be in the hunt for honours is JB Hansen and he began his tournament with a solid 4 under 68. A win for the Dane this week would secure number one spot in the rankings with an unassailable lead. Another of those making an impressive start to proceedings was England's Tom Murray. His round of 68 today included four birdies and an eagle here at the fourth. The Englishman continuing his good run of form that's seen him rise to 11th in the road to Ras Al Khaimah. Eric Tarja Johansson took the decision to skip the previous tournament and head east early to acclimatise. And that decision looks to have paid dividends as he opened up his account with a 68. As a two-time winner this season, Scotland's Liam Johnston has the opportunity for automatic exemption to the European Tour if he can add another to that tally. And he set up a good opportunity to do so here, signing for a 5 under 67. Another of those in fantastic form this season is Kala Samuja. His round today included seven birdies. This one at the seventh came after a fantastic approach shot. No drop shots for the Finn and he'll go into round two in second place. But the man everyone has to catch is Scotland's Grant Forrest. After going out in a stunning eight under, which included back-to-back -back eagles, the Scotsman was staring down the barrel of a possible 59. Another eagle will be added to his account here at the 12th, but that's where his remarkable run would end. However, he can take great delight in signing for a 10 under par 62, his lowest round as a professional. Elsewhere, Liam Johnston is joined in a tie for third with England's Matt Ford and one of the home favourites, Juwen Lo. While a host of names sit a further shot back in a tie for sixth, including recent Northern Ireland Open champion Callum Hill. Day two at the Hainan Open, and with more of the same conditions in store for the players, opportunities were aplenty over the Sanya Luhu 2 club's testing par 72 layout. One of those in the chasing pack after day one was Matt Ford, and he followed up his opening 67 with a 70 on Friday. Just one drop shot for the Englishman over the first two rounds, and he's perfectly poised to strike the leaders come the weekend. Heading into the week in 36th on the road to Ras Al Khaimah, America's Sean Crocker is looking for a big week to push his way up the rankings and his back-to-back -back 68s, including going bogey-free today, have helped his cause no end. He sits alone in fifth place. Another of those needing a good weekend to climb the all-important rankings is Nicholas Lemke and he's continued the good form that saw him finish third last week at the Monaghan Irish Challenge. He's at nine under par. Joining Lemke at nine under and in a tie for third is Chile's Nico Gega. The Chilean recorded six birdies on his way to a Friday 67, including one here at the tricky par three eighth. After opening his account with a sublime 62, Scotland's Grant Forrest couldn't quite match the fireworks that took him to the apex overnight. The Scot eventually signing for a level par 72. He remains where he started the day at 10 under. He sits three shots behind the new leader, Kala Samuja. His Friday 66 included eight birdies. This one here coming at the 10th, and he'll take a comfortable lead heading into the weekend. The Finn, who recently became a father, is looking to make it a double celebration in Sanya City. Joining Ford in a tie for sixth is the Australian Troy Moses, whilst a further shot back since the ever-consistent Adrian House, in position to add yet another top 10 to his name. Moving day at the Hainan Open and with much tougher conditions in store, it was a tight and dramatic third round which saw the lead change four times throughout the day. One of those making his mark early was American Sean Crocker. He produced a piece of magic here at the first to set his stall out straight away. Three more birdies in five holes followed, but costly mistakes during his back nine stalled his charge. He sits at eight under par. One of those to tame the tricky conditions was Callum Hill, this year's Northern Ireland Open champion fired his way to a four under 68, which included an eagle and three birdies. His impressive round saw him move 15 places up the leaderboard and alongside Crocker into a tie for sixth. 
Australia's Troy Moses has quietly gone under the radar so far this week at the Sanya Luhu 2 Club. His round today included six birdies, this one coming at the 17th after he holed out from the side of the green. Three rounds in the 60s have helped Moses to a total of 10 under par. One ahead of that mark is Sweden's Nicholas Lemke. Playing on an invitation this week, the Swede has been in impressive form and this long putt on 18 to limit the damage to just a bogey is evidence of that. Two under for Lemke today and he's nicely placed heading into Sunday. After opening his account with a 62 on Thursday, Grant Forrest hasn't quite managed to produce the type of golf that helped him to his lowest score as a professional. However, he battled his way to a two under score today to remain just a couple of shots off the lead. And that lead continues to be in the grasp of Finland's Kala Samuja. Samuja was one over par heading to the seventh, but was able to claw a shot back here after a superb approach. Heading into the back nine, the wind began to pick up and the Finn managed to battle his way back into the clubhouse with a one under 71 total and will take a two shot lead heading into Sunday. Samuja in the driving seat then for his first challenge to a title. Elsewhere, France's Victor Perez and England's Jack Senior both had profitable moving days, firing their way to a 68 and 70 respectively. While Spain's Adrian now has kept in touch with the chasing pack thanks to a one under 71. Championship Sunday at the Hainan Open and with conditions set fair for the day, the action was dramatic. The question was, could anybody catch the 54-hole leader, Kala Samoya? Victor Perez has been in the mix all week in Sanya and capped off his tournament with a 1 under 71. It could have been better for the Frenchman had he not succumbed to a double bogey on the 17th. However, he can be pleased with a top 10 finish. Another of those fighting at the top of the leaderboard had been Sweden's Niklas Lemke. He started well with three birdies in his first four holes, but found it difficult from there on, as he also registered four bogeys. Lemke has two top four finishes in the past two weeks and is in great form approaching the end of the season. Alongside Lemke in a tie for fourth is Spain's Adrian Aus, and his day got off to the perfect start with this birdie at the first. Four more red numbers would follow for the talented Spaniard as he would sign for a 69, gaining more valuable ranking points in the process. Another of those gaining valuable road to Rassel Keimer points was the American Sean Crocker. Crocker struggled for any momentum on his front nine going out in level par, but he would record three birdies and no drop shots on the way home, vaulting his way into third place. In the end, Sunday turned out to be a battle between Finland's Samoya and Scotland's Grant Forrest. Samoya had an opportunity at the first to put daylight between him and his opponent, this birdie putt just sliding by. After finding the water off the tee and with Samoya making a birdie, Forrest knew he had to make this par putt at the second to stop the gap from opening. A big save from the Scot, however a costly mistake at the sixth would see the different swing to five shots. After closing that gap at the tenth to just two, Forrest once again found himself in trouble off the tee but he managed to pull off a stunning shot out of the rough and would roll in the birdie putt to reduce the deficit to just a single shot. At 14, Samoya was staring down the barrel of squandering his slight cushion and had to hold this to stay in front. A clutch putt from the fearless Finn. With both men equal to each other over the next three holes, it meant Forrest had to hold this from off the green to join Samoya at 15 under par. Not to be for the Scotsman. That meant Samoya only had to tap into triumph. A superb gritty win for the Finn. It's his first challenge to a title and guarantees he'll play his trade on the European Tour next season. Elsewhere, a superb Sunday 67 catapulted Germany's Nikolai van Dellinghausen up 24 places into a tie for eighth. That score was only bettered by JB Hansen, a six under 66 for him as he maintained a firm grip at the top of the rankings. But it's Samoya who takes the spoils in Sanya City and with a big rise to second on the road to Ras Al Khaimah. The Challenge Tour continues its Chinese swing next week for one of the biggest events of the year, the Foshan Open.